Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm a visual artist and teaching artist. Uh, today's lesson is on um, an art and science experiment that you can do at home. So we're going to be exploring how we can mix water with watercolors and oils and create patterns. Um, so you're going to grab a container. It could be any small container. You're just going to use this container to mix uh, water and the oil and the watercolor. So you're going to grab some water um, and fill it up halfway. And then um, you're going to grab oil. So you could use any oil you have at home. It could be vegetable oil. Um, it could be olive oil. And so you, you're just using the oil um, to bind. So binding is when you uh, put together uh, two different things. Um, and so that's what oil and the watercolor are going to do is they're going to combine. And so when they combine, they're not going to blend easy with the water. So they're going to retain its color. So that's the scientific part of it um, is we're going to see how oil and water don't mix, but then at the same time they do to create these patterns. So we often hear oil and water don't mix. So we're going to explore in the ways that they do in science and in art and in the way we can create um, art with it. So, um, so you're going to grab a dropper. And if you don't have a dropper, um, just uh, make sure um, you have like a small uh, thing that you can mix. It could even be one of these like mixers. Um, it could be like even a twig um, that you find outside. So you're going to um, put one teaspoon of oil into the water. And so you see in here how the oil is at the top and the water is at the bottom. So it's really up to you, whatever tools you have at home or whatever um, you feel more comfortable. I like using um, surgeon because it says magic. I like to think of this as like making potions. So it's like a very magical experience. So, um, so that's why I use these in particular, but um, ask your parents um, what tools you have at home and if you have access to food coloring or watercolors. So, um, so you're going to grab um, your watercolor and put a couple droplets. And the cool thing about this experiment is you can mix more than one color in your, um, your container. So I put a little bit of um, this color and then I'm going to put some red because um, I want to see how it blends with the gold dish. And then I'm going to put some gold in here. And then just a couple drops. You don't need a lot of um, color. And then um, I'm going to put some more violet in there. Um, and then you can start seeing at the top layer kind of how the patterns are forming. Um, and then maybe I'm going to put some blue. So that's kind of how you want it to look to each color to remain in in its section and then you're gonna grab mix it so i have my color here um, my blend and then um you just start dropping it kind of like raindrops i like to think of it as like and then you can see how some of the purple you see some of the bronze there and then if you're like i want more of a different color you can continue adding to this um, so let's see, I'm going to see if I can put some more blue. So you continue adding to your mixture. And then you can see the blue. And then, yeah, and then just dip it. And so you're going to do this till you're satisfied creatively with what you've created. So you can see here we have purples, blues, a little bit of golds, and then you're going to let it dry. It usually takes about... 15 to 20 minutes to dry. It's mostly the oil that takes a little bit longer to, to dry. And then when you're done, you're gonna have a different uh, pattern. So you can see the different droplets. Yeah, so I like, I like doing this art medium to create backgrounds. Uh, some, if I'm, I wanna create some, some art quickly, um, and then I wanna be experimental, I, I use this art form. I hope you had fun. My name is Maria, and um, I had an incredible experience making art with you virtually.